So most of you know Cube as a hybrid exchange. Um, but uh, it's not just an exchange. Uh, what we built uh, over the last year um, is actually much more. We started with um, a decentralized MPC. Uh, and we built a, a custody layer uh, that allowed users to settle to multiple chains, Solana, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and others. Uh, on top of that, we deployed one of the first uh, Solana forks uh, that's running multiple validators, uh, and uh, we are calling it a guardian network uh, that is used for us our settlement layer. Uh, and that's what's used to, uh, to use to settle the trades and net them uh, across multiple uh, layer ones. Um, on top of all of this, we are running a matching engine that we built uh, that's high performant uh, with a cross, uh, cross book liquidity. Um, but I'm not here to talk about uh, um, an exchange that we built. Um, what I wanted to talk about is actually a next part of our journey. Um, which started actually with uh, Intense. So when we started building Cube, uh, we wanted everything to be an intent. Uh, so every single uh, order that you submitted over the last year um, on Cube uh, was an intent. Uh, and what is an intent is um, uh, basically a, a signed uh, object that you submit to, to a layer one that we are running uh, that then executes uh, through, our, through our network um, and then settles to layer ones. Uh, and what's happening is um, we can then execute multiple complex strategies uh, through that network. But what we want to do next is actually open that network and we are going to call it isometric. And it's going to be an intent network. Um, and everyone will be able to submit intents to that network um, and use it to uh, verify uh, settlements on multiple chains. It will have two tier validator consensus. Uh, it will be using the decentralized MPC that we built. And through the decentralized uh, MPC integration layer that we built, you will be able to uh, actually use the uh, value on those different layer ones uh, without cannibalizing it, uh, which is pretty interesting because most people, when they uh, build uh, layer twos or additional chains, what's happening is um, they are cannibalizing the value on those chains. Uh, what we want, and we want to avoid that. So how we are going to do this? Um, we introduced this component called a composer uh, that is going to uh, take the intents from the user um, and route them uh, through SVM on Solana uh, and then push them to the MPC. Um, and then through the same layer that Cube is using right now, you will be able to execute the intents on the layer ones. Um, so effectively, you will be able through the apps uh, that you will be able to publish and build, um, execute and interact with all the chains that Cube Exchange right now is uh, integrating. Right now, we support more than 10 different exchanges. Uh, and through that network, we executed more than 5 billion of uh, volume. So now imagine you will be able to build apps on top of that uh, and interact with that network directly. Um, and what is, uh, how is it going to happen? Um, for our intent execution engine. Uh, and we built a couple of different things that, uh, uh, that actually prove that concept. So when we started building an exchange, we wanted to make sure that that network uh, is actually fairly robust. So other than starting with just the network and then proving that concept later, we actually wanted to be the client of what we are going to build. So recently we built uh, this thing called implied order books. And that's what this diagram is showing here. 
uh, and it's very complex uh, cross-book arbitrage and order routing strategy that executes across multiple chains. You can use it right now yourself uh, on the exchange, but it's just an example of what you will be able to uh, build on top of the network. So what we are doing there is uh, calculating on-chain uh, an implied uh, calculation across multiple order books that are running, for example, in this case on Bitcoin and Ethereum, um, and allowing you to route orders uh, through two different networks, and then reifying that complex user intents and settling across three different chains. So how that, on top of that, uh, what will be happening is we'll be pushing intent verification. So when user is joining that network, um, they will be able to use non-custodial wallets, uh, open ID with zero knowledge proofs, and pass keys uh, to submit their intents that will be going through the composition layer, through the verification and the reification um, of our uh, network. And uh, the MPC integration layer will be pushing all of that to different layer ones. Um, and the MPC integration layer was built in a very interesting way because what we wanted to uh, avoid there is building custom smart contracts and bridges um, that introduce additional risk of security. And what's happening there is uh, the guardians are hand selected right now. Uh, we select them for a couple, uh, based on a couple of categories. Uh, they need to use high availability uh, strategies where they are running their hardware. They need to be fairly security focused. Uh, we are selecting them from uh, well-known Solana validators right now. Uh, they need to be community trusted and performance driven. Um, but what we want to do is make sure that in the future, anyone will be able to become the guardian. Uh, and there will be a couple of ways to do that. You will be able, you will need to um, comply with all those different things, but you will be able also to perform like staking uh, in order to become the guardian and the rest of the validators will be able to vote on you to become a guardian of this smaller set. And then the validators of the normal chain that will be running will be just acting as a light clients that are fully permissionless and everyone will be able to join. Those will be just like normal validators that you see on the Solana network that are community driven participants that are validating and securing the network. The backbone of that network will be uh, what you would expect, which is we will be act, uh, launching the, the new token, which is called ISO. Uh, what you will be able to do with it is you will be staking. The staking will be a key component of like becoming the guardian that I mentioned before. Um, it will be used for the governance uh, and also the ability to change how we are building the MPC and all the code. So all the code that uh, Cube is running right now uh, we'll be open sourcing it uh, and you will be able to participate in the development of it. Um, when, when all of it will be happening? Um, so Q1 uh, and uh, towards the end of this year, uh, we'll be opening the Guardian network to the participant, new participants. So if you are a current validator of Solana or other chains, uh, come talk with me after this talk. Uh, and happy to figure out how you can actually start joining the testnet uh, before the token launches. Um, then we'll be launching pretty soon after that the token and the mainnet, and after that the actual network will be op moving to the full permissionless model, where people uh, will be able to actually build the apps uh, just like Cube. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>